boxing. Please watch Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing today. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, so September 13th, this fight will be on the DAZN card. You got Dempsey McKean taking on Patrick Corta, all right? So McKean is one of the prospects that I've been talking about. Well, I guess what well, I guess he still is prospect level, but he is rated by the sanctioned bodies, man. He's rated in the WBO, and he's rated in the IBF. He's number 10 by the WBO, number 13 by the IBF. So I would love to see him in some type of... Um, title eliminator sooner or later all right but first he has to take care of business september 13th against patrick corta uh corta's a german heavyweight about six foot three on fight night he'll be anywhere between 235 240 pounds all right german heavyweight he's 18 one and one with 15 knockouts so he does have some heavy hands going for himself but i did get an opportunity to watch his one loss and his a draw the draw is actually his most previous fight that happened in june all right, and just looking at Corta's style, he likes to come forward with the high guard. He'll work the jab, but he will leave that jab him very low. He's an orthodox fighter, and that's what the the one of the, the loss he has was a second round knockout loss. All right, both of those fights are on uh, YouTube. Like I said, I will leave those. I will leave a link to his draw and his loss, just because you want to check it out, man. I'll leave it in the uh, comment section. You can uh, click it, view it, and come to your own surmise about it. But what I noticed is he likes to have the high guard and he'll work the jab up out of it. But the thing is with his jab hand, he carries it very low, man. And in that fight, like I was saying, he got knocked out in. It was somebody came over the top with a right hand over his low jab hand and he got clipped and he never really recovered. He got knocked down, tried to get back up. It was a strange ending, ending to that fight. Um, strange ending to that fight indeed, all right? Now his latest fight that he had against Jorge Arias that took place in June, that went 10 rounds, all right? Um, it was a draw, and I was okay with the draw, man. I thought the uh, Arias cat, I thought he was picking uh, Corta off with the jab. He was landing some good right hands. He wasn't really doing anything in the clinch, but as far as fighting from a distance and uh, fighting from range, he was picking Corta off, man. You can, look, man, you can damn near say he probably won that fight, all right? But he was picking Corta off. Corta did have some, set, some success when he was going to the body. And he was trying to throw left hooks and overhand rights. All right. Um, but yeah, I was okay with the draw. You probably could have argued that the other guy that uh, Arias won the fight. But he was doing a good job for fighting from a long range. and really did a good job with his jab. All right. Corta, um, 38 years old. Um, his chances in this fight, man, he's, he's going to have to try to get past the jab. I think just McKean can beat him off the jab alone. Dempsey McKean, six foot six, 240 pounds, only 30, 31 years old. Um, he has very good legs, and he's a southpaw. He has very good legs, man. Very good legs. He can move around, and he doesn't mind going the distance. He's not like one of these, you know, your typical come forward heavyweight that's looking for big knockouts. He doesn't now. He wants to try to finish you, but he doesn't mind getting some rounds going the distance. He moves around the ring well. A very good speedy jab uh the only knock with him is just when you take him to the trenches and uh you know try to force a mid-range fight how would he hold up if that situation happens but you trying to pressure him and make a move he's fine with that he'd rather do that anyways all right um i know he's had some sparring with uh anthony joshua i think he's also sparred a, Fa a fabio warley as well but um i think his best win was the win over Jonathan Rice, all right? That was a very good fight, man. He stopped Jonathan Rice in the 10th round, and that 10th round was like something out of Rocky. It was like, uh, I know they had him up on the scorecards, man, but that fight to me was a lot closer um, going into that 10th round, but it looked like McKean was out of it, right? And it was like 35, 40 seconds left, man, and he's like uh, he's like in the corner, and then he just, uh, he had Rice in the corner, you know, they're in the corner, and then he just throws a flurry out of nowhere, like a just this flurry out of nowhere, man. And it's, he started clipping Rice, and then he uh, he started clipping Rice and started hurting him. And it seemed like Rice was just exhausted out of was exhausted. But the first like two and a half minutes it looked like Rice was on the verge of at least dropping McKean. Um, 
because he was putting his weight on him. He was holding him. He was roughing him up on the inside. He was laying in his jab. It looked like McKean was like damn near uh, getting ready to go. He looked very exhausted. And then, like I said, the last like 35 seconds, man, he threw like this flurry at Jonathan Rice, got him hurt and, got, and ended up stopping him. Rice went down and tried to get up, but he ended up stopping him, man. It was like something out of a movie. It was something out of Rocky, like literally. All right. But I got Dempsey McKean winning this fight, man. I think just off the jab alone, he's going to dominate Corta. He's going, he's going to dominate him with the jab, man. So after this fight, where do they go from here? Um, now, hold on. McKean's last fight was against Ariel Bracamonte. Um, that was in February. Went to full eight rounds, like I said. And that fight was on a uh, zone as well. Um, he doesn't mind getting the rounds. And he, and he can definitely do them. And, um. But where does he go from here after this win? I would like to see him in some type of title eliminator fight. You guys know how I'm a stickler for title eliminators, man. Especially when, look, if you guys are rated in the top 10, I mean, you know, what's the reason to have a guy just rated in the top 10 for months and months and years, a year and a half, and they're not in title eliminators, all right? Sooner or later, you want to get these rankings to make some sense, all right? So some guys that I think that he could fight, um, and these are some guys that are also rated in the... Uh, WBO and the IBF, Martin Bacole. Uh, Bacole is number seven in the WBO, number 14 in the IBF. Dempsey McKean is 10 in the WBO, 13 in the IBF. And then somebody else who I think that they can make a fight, who I think will be easy to make, is Ajay Caballel. Um, I really want to see who Anthony Joshua selects and Tyson Fury. Both, I want to see who both of those guys select for their end of the year fights if they don't fight each other we know the news is out there and the 60 40 and Hearn accepted and all that but we'll wait to see with that but I want to see who those guys select man uh, but I would love to see after he has to get this fight over with first but McKean to fight shit uh like I said Bacole, Caballel, Dillian White, um Zhang, uh Chisura anybody on that match room you know that Hearn can make a fight with but I'm just getting this out there to you guys man let me know thing in the comment section I'm gone